Welcome back to the job site guys. In this video we have a very small job. It's just one master bedroom of baseboard but I've got that Graco TC Pro that I got a few days ago and we're just going to show you a real quick video on how we would use this on a real job site situation. So let's go inside and check it out. Alright here's the room that we're in. Here's the gun. We'll get this set up and show you how quick these little guns are. Got my strainer here and we'll run our oil-based product through here. We are not fans of oil-based products. It's never our, our preference to use these, but we do need to match these doors that are already here and the rest of the trim. And they actually happen to have this paint for us, which never really happens. We usually purchase the paint and bring our own paint but uh, this worked out in this case this way. And to paint this room of baseboard, I would say this room is 16 by 16 roughly. So let's just say it's 64 linear feet. And it's gonna be one fill up of this 32 ounce cup. So all this paint, I'm just gonna put it in here. And I do not miss painting with oil-based paint. This is all we used to use. We didn't use this PPG stuff, this PPG low sheen oil. We used to use um, Pro Classic oil and um, that one, it's decent. Any oil paint is gonna make, make you look like a good painter. So I'm curious to see how this gun works with oil. Like I said though, I don't, I don't miss using it because I can smell the fumes already. I do have my respirator. So actually that's, that's gonna be enough right there. They had just enough for us, so that's great. We'll go ahead and put this lid on for the cup. Make sure that's nice and tight so it can create that air, airtight seal. And yeah, this stuff. Got my battery here. Basically what we're gonna do, since we don't wanna be in this room with this oil-based product, let me switch to that FFLP tip. I'm just gonna spray this and then we're getting out of this room. The battery, the cup with the material. Then we'll, per we'll leave all that air. So that air is all out. Prime it. Spray in here just to see if, how we're doing. Change our pressure here. I'm gonna turn this down pretty low because this paint is really thinned out. So like one and a half, and we'll see what that gives us. We'll let that set for a second. That stuff right there is running pretty bad. It's always a good idea to do this because you don't wanna just start spraying paint and it's like, you need to figure out the consistency, especially a paint you're not familiar with that someone already, somebody already thinned out for you. All right, so what I decided to do, I'm gonna go ahead and switch tips. This is a 210 tip, it has a four inch fan, it's a five and a quarter base. I should have thought about that before I put that tip on there. So I'm just gonna use the kit tip and try that out. So we'll do this. We'll use the kit tip and see how that works out. Yeah, I got a way bigger fan there to cover this, cover this whole thing in one pass. Now we do have our door, um, door stop hardware already on there. We were told to just put it on there because it's, it's got, it's got paint on it from the previous baseboard anyways. So we're gonna paint over that and then we'll screw the um, actual bronze hardware, whatever it is back on at the end. So if you're wondering why that was there. All right, here we go.
It's like hurting me. <laughs> yeah. That's so weird. How is that possible? I don't know. <laughs> Dang, it hurts. We gotta take it back. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're getting out of here. <laughs> we'll give you an update once this dries a little bit. What I'm doing now is flushing out the system. We already sprayed this and I sprayed it twice. We didn't do the other one because it's the same exact video, but um, I just had like a better, better angle on it the second time. So like we let it dry for a little bit and then we could see that it needed another coat. I was being real easy with that first coat because I didn't want to have this stuff run. This paint is like water, whoever thinned it out. But uh, one thing that happened to me while I was spraying was I was getting shocked by the freaking gun. I was holding the trigger down and I wasn't talking about it or anything because I wanted to just spray it and get it over with. But it's like every two or three seconds, it was like on my finger here and like on this part of my thumb. So I don't know what the heck that was, but while I'm cleaning this gun out, I haven't got shocked once. I don't know if anyone can help me out with that. I will definitely return this gun if it shocks me like that and I can't figure out why. It's, it's not worth it to be getting shocked. So just upon looking at this, just inspecting it while it's still very wet, it's hanging really good, the paint is. The sprayer did a good job applying it to the surface. You know, that's all through the user, basically, the pressure that I put it on, how fast I'm walking when I'm spraying it. But it looks really good. I would prefer to have used the FFLP tip, but like I said, since this is oil, we're not gonna have any issues with a fine finish here. So it did a good job. I give it a good, a good star, a five star rating on the finish and how this looks, but I give it I don't know, a one on shocking me. I don't know what, what that was about. The Graco TC Pro, a shocking experience. Oh no, oh no, that's not good. You don't want that tape to ever fall down and touch the floor. It has happened to us. And on those days we, don't really get a lunch break because we have to work on cleaning that stuff up. So there's a little job site video using the Graco TC Pro, also known as the Graco Ultra. Two handheld airless sprayers, the exact same thing, different store sells different models. So you can see how easy it is to set up one of these little handheld sprayers and clean it up without having to bring out the big rig. Perfect for a small job like this. Overall satisfied with the finish, don't know what the shocking was about. But if you do, leave it in the comments because I'm calling Graco tomorrow to see why that's shocking me. Could be my own fault. Could be something you guys know or whatever, but I'll give them a call tomorrow, see what that's about, keep you updated. But as for, as for now, that's gonna do it for this video and we'll see you all in the next video. Take care.